I was so curious uh, about what you would say was uh, your biggest turning point. Of course, I know there have been just so many of them uh, in your career. Um, but I actually just want to read um, verbatim what you said to me. Um, so this is what you said. You said, making the insanely risky decision to return to skating for the 2018 games after stepping back in 2014 is the turning point that has and will continue to shape my life. Um, which I, you know, I, anyone who's a fan will remember that moment um, when, when you announced, of course, that you were coming back. Um, but take me back to that decision-making process. How did you and Scott make the decision and, and what was kind of happening around you at that time? Well, we did step back after 2014 and there was no real questioning of that. We, we knew that we needed to take some time away from the sport um, reevaluate, reassess. We never said we were retiring, but I think honestly, that's what we both intended on doing. And a few months went by and we realized that we craved that purpose. We missed the setting a goal on such a huge magnitude and such a big scale. We missed waking up and really feeling passionate about, you know, what it was we were doing. And <laughs> when things really came to fruition, we had a few jokes back and forth where I could tell we were probing one another to sort of get a sense of like, how are you feeling about this? I'm going to lob it up there for you. And we did that back and forth for a little while. And then um, we flew to Beijing to do a show. And I, I believe we were there for maybe not much more than 24 hours. And at some point in there, we, we had time to go to the Great Wall. So we were in the car two or three hours both ways. And we got chatting about, okay, if we decided to come back, who would coach us? What music would we skate to? What would you want to do differently? How could we mentally approach things differently? How could we emotionally support one another? You know, how could we further solidify this partnership? I mean, there were, the list was endless. And by the time we got to the Great Wall, we had basically just decided, I mean, okay, now we can't not do that. <laughs> That's very, very cool. And especially in a situation where, I mean, obviously you both had to really be on the same page. Um, and it sounds like you really were. Um, how did the people around you react? Well, you're right about being on the same page. And it was really clear to both of us, that, you know, if Scott had any hesitation or, you know, any sense of trepidation moving forward, I didn't even, I wouldn't have wanted to skate, you know, and same, you know, vice versa. So we really were aligned. I think everyone thought we were crazy, honestly. I remember telling our families and they didn't quite believe us. And we called Marie France and Patrice who ended up coaching us and we asked if they would consider it. And they too were, you know, unsure of our motives and just trying to figure out, okay, why take this risk? And, and you know, what's the incentive and the impetus behind it all? Um, it took a while to convince everyone around us that <laughs> it was a good decision. <laughs> right. I mean, I can see that because um, at this point you had Olympic gold medals, you had Olympic silver medals, you had world championships. So um, you obviously had a wonderful career. And if it had ended there, it would have been still an amazing career. We would still, you know, we would still be talking today about how incredible it was. So was that uh, that dream of kind of going back to the Olympics, was that one of the main motivating factors for the two of you? The Olympic Games will always, you know, hold such a special place in our hearts. And I think we just realized that while it was still in our grasp, it would have been really hard to to watch it float by and, and not try for it. And we'll feel that, you know, every Winter Olympic Games that pass for the next, you know, 40 years. But we still felt we had more to give, more to explore, more potential in us. But more importantly... We really just felt we could do things differently. I think having the chance to step back and watch a skating event from the stands and realize, hmm, our perspective can be totally different. And hmm, maybe we should approach it in a more scientific or um, you know, physiologically sound way. Maybe there are differences. You know, skating, much like most sports, is a little archaic in its means of, you know, pursuing something in, in training. And we just we felt we could shake it up a bit. And I think ultimately it was that sense of okay you know how can we do this differently and how can we be students of this craft that we wanted to master and it was I think that sense of really learning and growing and evolving that kept us going. 